oh my goodness, what is in this shulker box? Um, wow. All right, guys, so I have shown you my little village out here. This is our little uh, guest house that we built. It's like a little summer cottage thing. I don't know, but it's it's a cute little place out here that we've put together, um, and it's on the edge of our village, so people visiting can stay in there. I haven't put any furniture in it yet. need to work on that. It's one of those things I have to get to. Um, but today, we're going to go visit someplace else. We're going to go visit somebody else's place. We're going to go visit a town called Serenity, and that way I can teach you guys how to use the hub and the portals that come with towns. We don't we don't have a portal, so you have to actually run through the wild to get out here, and there's baby zombies everywhere, so be careful. Um, <laughs> so we don't have a portal here yet, but we're going to go visit a town that does. But before we do, I was informed that our mailbox back at our house over there has a gift in it. So we're going to go back and check that out really quickly here. So I'm going to do slash home because I have my set home to inside my house. And we're going to go check our mailbox. What do we got here? Oh my goodness. Somebody left us watermelon. Uh, I'm pretty excited. Greetings, goats. This is Wahavi. Wahavi, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I just always spell it when I W A H V I E. <laughs> this is W A H V I E. <laughs> Pranking you with lots of lots of melons. I just found out about your channel. It looks really cool. Anyways, I also found out that Dovewing, the village I'm helping make, isn't far from here. So I should have said hello, newfound neighbor. <laughs> Anyways, if you ever want me to show you Dovewing. I can and feel free to record, but beware of monsters and such as myself in pun mode. Keep being awesome. <laughs> the nub. Um, actually, Wavi, you know what? I, I, Minnie took me out to your area. Oh my goodness, what is in this shulker box? Um, wow. Minnie took me out to your area and um, I got blown up by a creeper. <laughs> so yeah, I've been there. Can we eat these melon? I don't want to eat these melon. Where am I going to put these? I need to put these someplace safe. That is so super cute. Oh, we need to check out the shulker box. Um, um, um. Where can I put them? Um, let's put it here. <laughs> okay. There we go. I preserved it. Now, what is in this shulker box? This is a crazy shulker box. Black. Holy cow. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Wow. Whoa, wait. Is that quartz? Wow. Now, where's my pickaxe? You only break shulker boxes with pickaxe. Thank you. That is an amazing... Everybody is so nice on Cubeville. I am telling you, they are so nice on here. So nice. So, thank you for that wonderful gift, my friend. And, okay, so I'm going to go over to Serenity, and you do that by slash hub. And the nice thing about the slash hub is you can do it in just about anywhere in the game. And there's all these awesome portals that take you different places. I've already talked about the farms and um, all of these different places, but the towns is where we're going right now. You just walk into it and you panic because oh, I'm walking on nothing. No, we're okay. When you first walk in, you're gonna see the premium towns when they start showing up. Um, there's the hub to walk back to it. You can slash hub. And then the other towns are in these other places here and we're going to go to Serenity's portal. So yeah, this is Serenity and the Mayor Creeping Despair next to me. Oop. He got dressed up for the occasion. I did. In his suit. <laughs> for special occasions. And um Serenity is based on what kind of what kind of town is this? You've got a okay. theme. The theme was that if a villager village was left to go and they evolved and they wanted to build a city or a town. What would they do? I and mean, this is what came up at 
they would build like this. Mm -hmm. It'd be kind of nice if they would build like this because, you know, everything would look better. And we have all these great signs that tell us where to find everything. And your highlight is right here. This one, right? Oh, yeah. The pigman spawner. Let's go um, to the pigman sure. spawner. Based off a design from a friend of mine named Cade, um, who helped me put this together. And before we go in, just so everyone knows, I might lag out on this. <laughs> I'm going to walk slow. So the story behind the pigman spawner is that it was owned by B.B. Wolf. And he was a purveyor of fine pork chops and nobody knew where he got his meat. But then when he uh, disappeared, they went into the house and they found this. Pigman. Yes. And it's safe to hit these guys. Right. As long as you... Demonstration. Stay away from the gate. <laughs> so this is how you're going to use a pigman spawner to get experience, and you can also get gold swords, gold nuggets, rotten flesh. Yeah, you can trade with the villagers. Experience is the greatest thing, especially if you have um, mending tools. You can bring them out and hold them in your hand when you collect the experience, and it helps to fix that stuff. That's new to me. Like, I just learned that. Right, and then if we come down here... We have the uh, the collection area, and I made it safe so that you could make sure that there were no chicken jockeys sitting there to kill you. I almost had one kill me. <laughs> it was so bad. And then you simply come in here, collect your XP and any other items, and continue on. And the auto-closing kicks in. We love auto-closing. Stuff's great. And if you do have a chicken jockey, don't use a bow and arrow. Just punch it with a sword. <laughs> And then I have six anvils down here, uh, the enchanting table, so that you can use your XP to um, enchant your weapons and items. Weapons and items, yeah. And you have an ender chest, which we've discussed earlier, is only yours so that you can use it. Oh, and you have a place to put shulker boxes. Right. So but don't leave them. Your, right. If you have a shulker box in your ender chest, you can get out of your ender chest, pop it open, throw all your stuff in there, and then put it back. Yes. And the important thing, too, is to remember is that you have to flip this up if you want um, the loot that falls down in here. Correct. Otherwise, it goes to you, right? Right. It goes into the, uh, in the into a sorter system I have back there that we use for uh, town purposes. Perfect. And you always want to close the gate when you're done, too. Yeah, nothing's more painful than the pigment falling on your head. <laughs> I can't get out the door. <laughs> okay, so that's the pigman spawner there. I got stuck in the door. We're going to run on over to the stables and check those out too. Okay, we're at the stables. Yeah, um, STL Denise helped me with these stables, as you see from the sign as we walk in. And she's uh, a she's an admin, right? She is a moderator right now. Moderator. Um, she was retired and came back, and uh, so she's going through the process again. But there are 22 stalls inside the stable. Wow. Uh, we have 30 plots, so but not that everybody wants to have a horse or needs to keep a horse. So right. it seems to work out so far. Right. But uh, let me show you the inside of one of the stalls here that doesn't have a horse. And there's a limit on um, how many animals you can keep in here too, right? Right. Uh, Cubeville has a 100 mob limit in an area. So I've got a, a limit right now, a set of four horses per stall um, so that we don't jeopardize breaking that limit. And inside each stall is a little tack box for saddles and leads and whatnot. Nice. Nice. I didn't know that Gray J had a stall here. That's an, that's good to know. Yeah, Gray J is a resident here, actually. Oh, excellent. How many there plots are taken? 28 out of the 30. Wow, so you're basically filled up. Pretty much, yes. In fact, I've already kind of toyed with the idea of expanding out to add more residential plots.
There's also a village or trade center here so that you can take um, those the rotten flesh that you get from the pigmen spawner especially and trade it and work your way through all of the other lovely villagers from there. Yeah, we've got uh, 28 different villagers in there right now. So. That's crazy. And we uh, improve them as the new ones come around. I love watching them all get moved around with the mining carts. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, but it can be a pain, too. Amenities we have here at Serenity is the uh, tree farm. I love all the banners, like the banners all that say what what places are. It's like, oh hey, trees. <laughs> <laughs> so should we go down to the birch and oak? Sure. This is a lift down sign. Right yeah. click. I don't think I mentioned that before. But basically, they can come down here. Take a tree. Yep, and this is open to the public. Um, so the only thing we ask is that uh, you obviously take the whole tree and then you replant when you're And then you grab the sapling just like you did there and then replant it. Right. And saplings will fall too. If you get extra saplings, you can put them back in. It helps us to sustain the tree farm. In that chest there. Right. Um, one thing I want to show you that's unique about this particular tree farm, and we will go back up and we'll go down to the dark oak floor. I was held captive here once because you removed the sign when I came down. I remember that. The sign was gone, and I'm like, um, okay. <laughs> um, on the dark oak floor, we also, and along the walls, we have it where you can collect vines. And climb them. You can climb them, yes. Uh, Whee! Vines seem to be a thing that people want to use once in a while. and Out. Rather than going in. Stripping them out of the jungle or taking that chance, you can come to a safe environment and collect vines. And uh, just a little statistic on this, if you only cut the bottom three blocks all the way across, you end up with three full stacks of vines. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of vines. Yes. You and your number crunching. <laughs> <laughs> I use the stuff I build. Now, one of the things people, um, I've noticed, I've come down here and I've replanted dark oaks correctly. You need four saplings to replant a dark oak. So, yeah, when you're replanting one of these giant trees, which I love coming here to get them because they're not so giant. I don't feel like I have to climb on and on forever. Um, but four saplings down there. <laughs> Had this set up where if you press the button you would get four ingots um it's now been changed right now it's empty at the moment because it's still stocking back up um i have changed it now where it only dispenses one ingot please don't be greedy take only what you needy <laughs> so always remember that when you're coming around to all these different towns because it's not just this town that has stuff to share with everyone because this is public like you don't have to be a resident Right, the iron farm and the tree farm are public. So that's nice. These are our shop plots here in Serenity. Hold on, I'm going to come in from this side. Shop plots. Yeah, and then you've got signs out here that say who's, who's, who's. I ask my shopkeepers here. Oh, we've got the rules over here. Yeah, to only to try and sell stuff that nobody else is selling in the shops here. And if they absolutely feel they need to sell that item, do not undercut. Yeah, I've, I've tried to keep our little our little pink shop over here unique from everyone else, and everyone seems to be doing a good job at that, too. There are enough items in game, you know, that um, you can sell quite a few things to make cubes. And, no, you might not get rich here, but... Oh, no. We're here to have fun. That's exactly. What, I'm sorry. Our little bake shop is, anyways. <laughs> You've got a post office here, don't you? Yeah, I run hey, the, kitty uh, cat. post office in CVC, uh, which is the brick building you showed in one of your previous videos. Yes, we and, love post uh, office. I am doing, I did a the, cube, uh, the Serenity Station post office here, and there are other towns that as they get built, they've asked me to take care of their postal needs there as well. Nice. I did notice that I couldn't get into... Um, I can't pronounce his name. Tom Cow? Tom Cow. Is it still marked private? I can't get into it. Um, but he left me something. 
Oh, that's 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 adorable. He left nether rack, flint. Well, I think somebody else left the cookie. He left me to get my fireplace started. He left me the stuff I needed. <laughs> well, thank you. We'll use that and get that fireplace going. <laughs> very watched right now with all these eyes <laughs> there's a lot of eyes in there <laughs> one of the things that came with the uh i think it was 1.10 version of minecraft was called entity cramming entity cramming okay that's what it's called there you go so you got these guys all in here and then if we go up i hope that there's carrots oh good i dropped some off earlier all right so the way this works now is if you step on that pressure plate they float to the top you feed them, and as as you hit the twenty fourth entity, the adult one, the oldest one, will um, vacate the area. <laughs> there you go, vacate the area. Yeah. Up oh, there we go. That's how it works. That's how it works. So, but yeah, this uh, requires you not to have to use your um, any of your weapons to call any of the herd oh there you go okay i i get that better now yeah nice so that's one of the things and then there's these enormous farms for everyone to use which is fabulous and these these particular farms are only open to the residents correct um because i didn't want to have i wanted to make sure they had resources and everything here um is something that can be traded to the villager in the trade center ah yes that's always excellent too that's good I love it. And you've been um, working on this build more, too. I, every time I come, I'm like, oh, hey, there's something new done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little features here and there that I might <laughs> add or change up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I recorded with Creeping. And the session was awesome, and there's so much to see in Serenity. There is so much to see here. Um, but I had to break it up into two separate videos. So I came back to my little house here, my little abode behind me that's in Serenity. And we're going to try to figure out how to use, I'm going to try to figure out, everybody else knows I'll how to. to. <laughs> She's going to have to teach me. Um, how to install a fire in my fireplace. And some people came to help me. We've got Cade and Tiffy and Candy Cat and Blue here. Oh. oh. You look kind of, <laughs> ouch, a skelly trap, a skelly trap just happened. <laughs> wow, that had to hurt. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and install this. Um, I've got everything I need right here. Oh, did you already take the torches out? Somebody took the torches out. Yeah. So do I put it like right there? Okay, I put the nether rack. Uh huh. Okay. Light it up. Really? Like, Light it up. am I gonna catch myself on? Oh my goodness. Okay, set him on fire. I, I don't want to set him on. <laughs> I don't want to set him on fire. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. So. <gasps> oh my goodness! I have never done that before. <laughs> Cade! Oh, right. He's okay. He's fine. Cade. Hey! What'd you do? Did he, did, does that often happen? Oops. <laughs> Oops. That's okay. That's okay. Well, so yeah, we just had a little party here. Nothing major. Just a little, little bitty recording with our friends here on Cubeville. And uh, we will see you in the next episode of more Serenity because there's so much to see in Serenity. Yeah. We'll see you later. Bye.